they live among us, with us and on us. Pathogens like bacteria and viruses or fungi. Their numbers are endless and normally we don't notice them. Nevertheless, they can be a serious threat to our health and our lives. Sick people suffering from a weakened immune system are especially at risk. That is why strict hygiene rules are enforced in hospitals, not only in operating theatres, but throughout. Dr. Roland Schulze-Röbecke, expert for hospital hygiene at the Institute for Medical Microbiology and Hospital Hygiene at Düsseldorf University Hospital, explains why hygiene in hospitals is so important. In hospital and patient care, infections are generally a day-to-day -day occurrence, not because the surrounding is dirty or contaminated, but rather because the bigger problem is probably the patient himself, as he carries an enormous number of microorganisms and bacteria with him. Besides that, fellow patients can also be the source of infection, because a not inconsiderable number of nocomial infections are passed on from patient to patient. Usually, it is the hands of the care personnel, or random objects, like blood pressure gorges or respirators, that are transferred from one patient to the other. The least problem is in fact the hospital surrounding. Of course, floors, walls and curtains are not sterile, but they are rarely the source of infections. Important protective measures against hygiene deficiencies concern the transmission of pathogens from patient to patient. Hand disinfection plays a very important role, but the correct use of disposable gloves is also important. In reality, we have observed that the stressed care staff does indeed put on gloves, but then occasionally forgets to take them off and touches objects or even other patients with contaminated gloves. But there we need to act very deliberately and carefully. The adherence to hygiene regulations is very important in operating theatres. Operated patients and personnel must be protected from infections. For this reason, there are special hygiene regulations in operating theatres. These include dress codes for the personnel, but also observance of a sterile zone, as well as sterilization of operating instruments via steam sterilization. Here it is especially important to check the functionality of the steam sterilizers themselves. Every sterilizer must be checked for functionality daily. The electronic test system, ETS, was developed as an electronic alternative to the so-called Bowie Dick test. The Bowie Dick test is a test that must be executed. In other words, it is a legal obligation in German hospitals where steam sterilizers are used. They have to be checked every day before they are used. This checkup is made whilst activating the unit. The unit is placed in a sterilizer in an empty chamber. Here, a normal production process is started, whereby the sterilization time is limited to three and a half minutes. After the run, the unit is removed and a result can be called up immediately. Either a green LED lights up, a sign that the test was completed, or a red LED as a sign of an incomplete test. We see a rising tendency towards general practitioners that own smaller steam sterilizers. They are encouraged to implement a quality assurance. In other words, sterilizers should be checked here too. The ETS technology is very suitable for testing such sterilizers. The industry is acting. Hygiene weak points are specifically tracked down and monitored. But the most common weak point is still the human himself. Only when all parties concerned follow the hygiene rules and sterilization machines are used, can the danger of illnesses for patients be minimized.